sunshine was seen in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child, she cried out, laboring and in pain, giving birth. Another sign was seen in heaven, behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and on his head seven crowns. His tail drew one third of the stars of the sky and threw them to the earth. The dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth, so that when she gave birth, he might devour her child. She gave birth to a son, a male child, who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. The child was caught up to God and to his throne. The woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared by God, that there they may perish for 1,260 days. There was war in the sky. Michael and his angels made war on the dragon. The dragon and his angels made war. They didn't prevail. Neither was a place found for him anymore in heaven. The great dragon was thrown down. The old serpent, he who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now has come the salvation, the power, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his Christ. For the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down, who accuses them before our God day and night. They overcame him because of the Lamb's blood, and because of the word of their testimony. They didn't love their life, even to death. Therefore rejoice, heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the earth and to the sea, because the devil has gone down to you, having great wrath, knowing that he has but a short time. The dragon saw that he was thrown down to the earth, and persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male child. Two wings of a great eagle were given to the woman, that she might fly to the wilderness to her place, so that she might be perished for a time, and times, and half a time, from the face of the serpent. The serpent spewed water out of his mouth after the woman like a river, that he might cause her to be carried away by the stream. The earth helped the woman, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the river which the dragon spewed out of his mouth. The dragon grew angry with the woman and went away to make war with the rest of her seed who keep God's commandments and hold Jesus' testimony. Authority is king for one hour. The 
babies have one eye that they give their power and authority to the beast. These will war against the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome them, for He is Lord of lords and King of kings. They also will overcome war with Him, called and chosen and faithful. He said to me, The borders which you saw where the prostitute sits are peoples, multitudes, nations, and languages. The ten horns which you saw and the beast, these will hate the prostitute and will make her desolate, and will make her naked, and will eat her flesh and will burn her utterly with fire. For God has put in their hearts to do what he has in mind, and to come into unity of mind, and to give the kingdom to the beast until the words of God should be accomplished. The woman whom you saw is the great city which reigns over.